All right, all right, so it's Brandon here with Brandon's Bees. So about 12 days ago, March 21st, we put a frame of brood in here. So we gave them with the bees and the full frame of capped brood. So it's about 12 days now. So if it's not emerged, it's about to emerge. So what we're gonna do is see, this hive was struggling, probably about four or five frames of bees. Um, so we're gonna see if that gave them the boost they needed. So this is kind of a follow-up video from our previous video. We'll link that right here. So if you haven't seen that one, watch that one for this one. So. As you can see, they're collecting a lot of pollen here. Um, uh, not much now because I smoked them up a little bit, but but they're doing a lot better, I think, than they were. There's more activity. You can kind of notice the more pollen. Um, oh my goodness, yeah. And they're building building a lot of wax here, so we'll give them a little little reminder that we're here. I'll come to the front work it so you guys can see this open up here. All right, so we gotta. Wow, they really don't. Oh. Well, they know we're here now. Knock, knock. But, okay, so the one, two, three. So, I mean, really, reality, there's about eight frames of bees in here. I mean, they're even covering this side here. So, there's new wax, new comb here. You can see how white this wax is here compared to the old comb. So, they're using the sugar syrup we gave them. Um, this pollen patty is, is gone now. Um, either it's gone or it's stored in the frames. So... Just to confirm that this queen's actually laying good and it's not just the brood that emerged that is making them look strong. We're going to dive into this and see how many capped frames of brood they have along with eggs, larvae, or just the health of the, of the hive in general. Because it could be deceiving. Um, we gave them bees. Um, so we gave them bees and then three, about three frames of bees are going to hatch or emerge. So reality, this could just be, you know, it could just look like all those bees emerge and they look healthy now. So just to confirm that, we'll dive in here. So we'll fast forward this part until we open it up here. All right, so it, there's, there's a little nectar here. It looks like the open sugar syrup we gave them. Maybe a little bit of natural pollen, you know, honey they stored over winter. Um, looks like a little open here. So we'll get into the next frame here. So third frame in. All right, so this looks like this might have been the frame we gave them to merge. So this is capped. Um, so if you look, there's a little, little larva at the bottom of these cells here. So there's little, about probably four to seven day old larva in here. So she definitely, so with it being 12 days ago, she definitely was laying, laying in these with a little bit of a boost. Um, the pattern's not that tight right now, but wow. So here's the eggs. So right in the middle, I'll blow on them. You can see the all the eggs she started to lay. So with this, so she's definitely increased her laying um, within the last three days. But now we're just going to confirm. And this is the third frame in. This is the third frame in from the side. So with a front and back frame of eggs and larva, this might be just where she started to increase. But I would expect once we get into the hot spot of the hive, so the actual brood nest, it'll be a lot better than that. Okay, so as we get into this more, there's so there's definitely eggs that are now turning into larvae because you can see the little puddle at the bottom. Um, is that blue on us a little bit? So this is the frame we gave them. It's emerging. But what's hard to see, which I can, if I rest this, I can show you. If you look at it from this angle, you can see in here, all the larva at the bottom. See all the, the nice puddle of larva? So almost with the IV we gave them to save this hive of bees, brood, and just enough to kind of more nurse bees to manage this colony to increase, they are looking mighty good, I would say, with the puddle of larva at the bottom. So this is just the frame they're emerging from. So it's kind of easier for her to come back and lay in when it's emerging you can see at the bottom here, if you want to take a glance, right here at the bottom of this, you can see that white, the white milk, milk look here. So, not too bad. It, lo it looks pretty healthy. Uh, it's nice and wet. Um, I say it's nice and wet because if it's dry, that means there's a lack of nutrition, so they're not being fed enough. I want to reiterate the the puddle or the wet look is a good sign of nutrition in a colony. So. Very cool. Well, this is the fourth frame from the outside. I feel like this is just where they're getting started. So we're gonna we're gonna fast forward and go into the next frame here. 
now what three four this is the fifth frame in and you can see there's a patch of drone brood so it, it i would find it very odd if she's she was if she was laying drone. oh yeah I, well we need to mark her and if you haven't seen how to mark a queen i'll leave a link right here up top for you to quickly see how easy it is to mark a queen so give me one moment we'll pause the video we'll mark her all right so you can see the nice white marking on her so last year queens are blue this year's yellow she is before them so we're not sure how old she is so we're gonna mark her white but she looks gorgeous there and we're gonna set her like i showed in the video i will reiterate here's the card for it if you want to watch the how to mark a queen but like i explained in that video we're going to set her to the side and we're going to continue with the rest of the evaluation of if they've improved since we since we boosted them so back to this here so i see when well, i'm looking for a healthy colony um you want to see um older stuff in the middle and as as you get away from the center of the frame you see younger and younger and younger until you get the eggs so with that saying that here you'll see this is capped so some capped here and as you get to the outside it's hard to see but it is getting younger and younger as you work your way out so there's larva here so it's capped larva as you work your way out into if i blow on them you can see some eggs here so you can see that just a little bit of wetness at the bottom which is good and it's just a good sign of seeing the older and then as she works her way out it gets younger so just shows that she lays a tight pattern in the middle okay so we're going into the sixth frame here we'll fast forward through this looks like here this is pretty empty they're storing some pollen in it um, we'll check the other side this might be the end of the brood nest here if i blow on it yeah you can see a lot of pollen um and there's actually eggs at the bottom too oops i scraped a couple of bees there on accident but there's actually eggs right here in the middle i'll blow on them so i can get them out of the way there's some eggs that lay laying up in here too so it's hard to see because they're mixing some pollen in it but it's right here is where there's some eggs so good good see there so all right so um i'm not going to check the next frame because i'm assuming if she's laying eggs in this frame but on the other side she this might be the where her laying stops so out of the six frames we looked at i would say there's this one ha this one has a little bit of eggs so probably a half of a side of a frame so i wouldn't really count this one because she just started but on these last two or three frames she's been able to um establish a brood nest a healthy brood nest of three frames so what that what that means is what we saw her last time about 12 days ago she had about one frame of bees so doing this now she's able to have the nurse bees the foragers and just as you can see the nutrition that we looked at with the puddles at the bottom she's able to maintain a healthy brood nest and able to expand as we looked at the older older caps in the middle and then as as she started to lay more she could expand that between seven to ten day old larva and then um, as you can see there was eggs at the bottom too so on the outsides so that's an awesome sign of a healthy colony it looks like we did the right thing here by giving her an extra frame of bees and with the brood in it and we marked her here so we might show you the release here as you can tell her attendants are taking a gander at her and she's in there they're, they don't like her when she's marked so they're trying to clean her off but we'll see if we can get a good release for you guys let's just see if we can open this up here i hope she doesn't run too quick but if we lay this down here she might try to run there she goes nice and white easy to spot now so back to work she goes they're happy that she's in there i like to shake these bees off so that way they can go off once once she walks on this she has the pheromone on this that's why they're all attracted to this still but awesome so we marked her got that out of the way um she's expanding the brood nest so what we'll do is we'll keep adding a little bit of pollen keep adding a little bit of syrup as these bees are now grumpy that i put her back in because i guess they were looking for her but so awesome we'll put them back together we'll check them in about another uh They'll probably give them two weeks to work uh, with that with not having that much capped brood they're not going to expand as you would see if they had two or three frames of capped brood because in two weeks they would have another nine frames of bees but with this they had about probably one full frame of brood they'll be able to really solidify these eight frames they're working with and then when we come back in about 10 to 14 days then we'll be able to see if they need a box because all those two or three frames of eggs and larvae will be capped 
ready to emerge within the next week when we look at them in two weeks. So, all right, well, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I know I don't do everything perfect, and um, nobody's really perfect when we're doing beekeeping because there's no definite answers. But beekeeping, we try our best for a region. Um, so, but if you have any questions, any ways you like to equalize your hives differently, please leave a comment. That's just the best way. I gave them one frame. If I really wanted to, I can give them another um, to really boost them if I want to make honey off this colony this, this season. But look at the gorgeous pollen. We saw some interesting yellow, orange, red, and blue. And we just, I just think it's awesome seeing this much pollen come in this time of year. So, well, perfect. Leave a like, subscribe. We're building our channel. Um, I want to come out with a little video because we just hit 100 subscribers thanks to you guys. And I honestly, I'm, we got a kick and everything. I was shocked. Uh, it's pretty amazing. I didn't think I'd be able to do this this fast, and I couldn't do it without you guys. So um, if you want to leave a like, I appreciate you guys. And until next time, so a little bit of tips and tricks. I just want to give you guys a follow-up. So until next time.